Today is another tasting day, so I am with Ed Carillas of Tequila Herradura. And uh, tell me, Ed, what's, what's all this that we got in front of us? Well, thanks for having us today. Uh, yes. We've got a great uh, selection of tequilas from Tequila Herradura. We've got our silver tequila, Reposado Añejo, and I think a really wonderful treat uh, today, our Extra Añejo product. Oh, nice. And uh, we can talk a little bit about our Double Reposado, which is really something that's only been out on the market uh, less than two years. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, just so in case people don't know, tell me, what's the, what's the history between, behind Tequila Herradura? Tequila Herradura is the second oldest distillery in Mexico. Wow. We've been making tequila officially since 1870, but we've been in the Amatitan region of Jalisco okay. uh, and producing tequilas, you know, well before that in the 1800s. Um, you know, we're a company of first. You know, we were one of the first Añejo tequilas out on the market. Okay. Uh, and then Herradura really invented the Reposado category mm -hmm. and the Extra Añejo category okay. uh, with the, the first uh, product in each one of those extensions. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, you, you were very specific about the region within uh, Jalisco, and everybody talks about Jalisco and the highlands. Yep. Um, what is it ab about that area that's, uh, that's different from anywhere else in Mexico? Uh, I think that's a great question. You know, I think one of the interesting things about tequila is that it does have an application of origin. Okay. Right? You can only make tequila officially in five states within Mexico. Okay. And Jalisco is the largest and kind of the most famous for tequila. Really oh, wow. The place of tequila is in, in Jalisco. And then you have lowlands and highlands to keep mm -hmm. uh, similar to grapes right you yep. have different elevations and and appellations of origin tequila is the same way uh herradura is mostly lowland agaves that we use all right and so it has maybe a little spicier more herbaceous note tones interesting uh, when you smell it and when you taste it you definitely get that cooked agave flavor that okay. i think is uh is the epitome and the heart the corazón of, of of good tequilas <laughs> I don't think people understand really what goes into making tequila. It's a long, long process. Can you walk Absolutely. us through that? I mean, sure. how long does it take for the agave plant to grow? Or the agave, it all starts with the agave. Okay. Right? And um, we, an agave plant is mature after seven years. So wow. we don't harvest any of our plants before that. Our plants are anywhere between seven to ten years uh -huh. uh, when they're ripe. So you're really waiting for a long time just to get started. <laughs> Uh, once the agaves are harvested, you know, we roast them in our ovens, mm -hmm. um, and then that's a long, slow process for us. There's faster ways of doing it, okay. but we don't think that gives you a better tequila. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, then after, after roasting in the ovens, they'll go through a milling process, and then they'll go to fermentation, mm -hmm. and then to aging. Wow. And so, depending on which expression you have, then you may be waiting two years for an añejo, okay. 11 months for a reposado, uh -huh. or again, uh, 45 days on there. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's let's stop talking. Let's start drinking. What let, what can we open up first? Great. Why don't we start off with a little bit of our silver product? Okay. And I always enjoy starting with this first because again, I think this is kind of gives you that clean agave flavor, and you get a real taste uh -huh. for the spirit. And okay. You know, we'll kind of kind of progress through the aging cycle. All right. So tell me, uh, this is the uh, the silver. What am I uh, What am I smelling? What are we? Uh, if you give it a good nose. You'll definitely get some citrus nuts. Okay, right? yep. You get a lot of that, uh, a little bit of that sweetness from that cooked agave flavor. Definitely. Um, you know, you really do get the citrus. It's very, it's a very bright, very uh, open and uh, and just clean. It it doesn't seem muddled. Some uh, some tequilas smell uh, smell a little bit off. It's right, uh, right. it smells good on right in the beginning and at the end it sort of uh, gets a little odd. This is uh, this is very clean throughout. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Salud. Oh yeah, that's oof. That is very clean. I mean, this is this is definitely changing my ideas of uh, tequila back in my college days for sure. Um, definitely, this goes down really well. Now tell me, how, how does because the tequila market there are so many different tequilas out there, and when people go to uh, you know a liquor store and look for something to buy, how do you sort of weed out? what's good and what's bad, I mean, and what in that same tone separates Tequila Herradura from others? Sure, I, absolutely. You know, I think one of the first things to ask yourself is the tequila that you're looking for 100% blue agave or is it a mixto? Tequila can only be made from one type of agave plant. Okay. It's a Tequilena Weber Azul, okay. or blue agave. Uh -huh. And so good tequilas are always 100% blue agave. Okay. Uh, a mixed tequila can be a good tequila, but it's only going to be 51% blue agave. Oh, interesting. It can be grain alcohol or any uh -huh. other kind of uh, oh, wow. sugars. 
other things that are in the marketplace. So I think that's a great place to start. Uh -huh. And then I think you want to look for a tequila that's got good tradition, good heritage, um, and has the history of making really good products. Um, and then, you know, if you really want to jump into it, mm -hmm. then you look for things like, I think with Herradura, uh, we do uh, open natural fermentation. Okay. Uh, we have wild born yeast that uh -huh. comes uh, naturally at our distillery. Oh, that's excellent. Our distillery has a lot of citrus trees, oranges, limes, yeah. uh, other kind of fruit trees on property, and so it produces a, a natural yeast that helps our fermentation process. So there's the little things like that that you can really get into and really see the differences in, you know, one tequila versus another. Let's. Uh, uh, move, on move on to, to Reposado. So to be a Reposado, you have to spend two months in mm -hmm. oak barrel. Okay. And Herradura ages uh, our Reposado for 11 months. Oh, wow. And we only use uh, new oak barrels. Okay. So we really feel that that gives it a great flavor, great taste, mm -hmm. uh, complements the cooked agave flavor that you're going to get from... Um, from the uh, the agave plants themselves and from the process. Mm -hmm. So again, if you'll give that a nose. Yeah, I get some caramel flavors on exactly. it. It's uh, a little more sweeter on yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Good structure to it. I think the oak really, really brings out the flavors. But still, I think, uh, pretty crisp. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Still yep. a clean nose. Salute. Salute. Oh wow! So easy to wow. drink. Huh? Definitely, definitely, and it really is uh, like a scotch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just very smooth, very big flavor that uh, that comes out, and uh, a lot of aromas. You get some of that spice. I agree. Um, it's still very bit clean. Of black pepper to it a yeah. From yeah. The, definitely. From the oak aging. All right. What is next? And I think as you, as you go through this, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully you'll agree as well. I think you see that it's not about kind of what's best or better, but really about what your palate likes, you know? I think a lot of people, uh, especially with Scotch whiskey, um, they think, you know, the aging process, and especially uh, like tequila, people think something that's older is better, and mm -hmm. that's not the case. It's just, what do you feel like today? You know, do you feel like something a lot lighter, a lot brighter? Do you feel like something a little bit more structured, a little bit more complex? You know, it depends on how, you know, how the day is, how your mood is, and they're all very good, and they're all equally as able to fulfill your palate and its needs, absolutely, for sure. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. You know, and just sitting here sipping it, um, it's really blowing my mind because, uh, you know, you think and, and you see it portrayed so much and uh, and it's so wrong that people smell it like, oh my God, I don't want to have it. But no, this is this is great. All right, now, now what... Do we absolutely. get to do we get to try this? Sure, absolutely. Now I got to tell you, this is a special day because you know not not everybody gets an opportunity to have uh, the Selección Suprema. So this oh, wow. is again, age forty eight months. It really is kind of the top of the line mm -hmm. from the House of Herradura. Okay. Uh, love to get your initial thoughts when you first nose it and then taste it. Oh wow. Wow, that is fantastic. Extremely smooth, huh? Oh, oh, th this, this just blows me away. I mean, the, the smoothness, the flavor, uh, the structure, it's all there. It just, it all meets up so perfectly. And again, it goes down very, very easily. Um, it's not too heavy on the palate. Um, you still get all the structure. Oh, wow, yeah, this is, uh, get, this is something a, else. A wonderful taste afterwards you know, oh completely and it, and it lingers it just uh, it stays there. it's like a fine bordeaux it just you know you have one sip and it just sits on your on your palate for a while i'll tell you when you uh, when you pour this this is the this is the uh, this is the brand the uh, the product and tastings that people don't leave behind mm -hmm. yeah and a lot of times you'll know you'll taste you'll enjoy you'll talk about it the selection suprema is never uh -huh. the glass is never full after the tasting yeah oh geez i'm definitely gonna finish this one <laughs> thank you for letting me try this cheers yeah so, Oh, fabulous, fabulous. So tell me, what, what is, what's this black box over here? What do we got? Well, we've got something special here. This is the Herradura Double Reposado. Okay. And this is a, a great um, product and a great opportunity for folks that are real tequila fans. Okay. So at Casa Herradura, one of the things that we do is 
you are able to purchase your own barrel of tequila. Oh, wow. And so roughly what a barrel yields is somewhere around 240 bottles of tequila. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of uh, celebrities and uh, entrepreneurs and businesses that purchase it in order to give away as gifts. Okay. Uh, but I think part of the fun that it is for your audience is if someone is interested in their own barrel of tequila, we really want them to have the full Casa de Redura experience. Okay. So this isn't kind of mail order. Right? All right. All right. So if somebody's interested in, in purchasing a barrel of Double Reposado, the the process begins with an invitation to come visit us at Casa de Redura. Oh, perfect. And so you can fly to Guadalajara. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we pick you up. We take you down to the Hacienda. Uh, we have the only full Hacienda still left in Mexico that is producing tequila. Oh. Uh, you know, with the main house and, and kind of all the accoutrements that go mm -hmm. along with being a Hacienda at San Jose del Refugio. Um, uh, and so you can come, take a tour, meet with our master uh, distiller, our global ambassador, go through a private tasting of several samples. Okay. And then you get to choose what you like best. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are doing this, um, especially for, uh, you know, for our viewers who, uh, who definitely are a little bit, you know, we're, we're definitely a cut above the rest. Absolutely. And um, you know what? It's, it's, it's very good that you, that you invite people down simply because there's an education that comes with it. When you have a better educated consumer, uh, they appreciate it a lot more. And you guys really see that. Well, you know what? Thank you. Thank you very much for this, uh, for this experience. Salute. Salute.